Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini. My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini's? Cross Watcher, high vibrations. What's going on with you? I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for being here. I truly love each and every one of you. Keep in mind, this is a general message, y'all. It's not going to resonate with everybody, okay, or nobody. So only take what fits and leave the rest, okay? Choir, come on, booze. <clears throat> One, two, three, oh, T-girl, T-girl, magic and collective. T-girl, 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 magic and collective. T-girl, Tarot, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. All right, choir. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Um, you guys, I am open for readings again. So you, some of you guys have already booked readings. I do want you to know there is a slight increase. You know, I have to keep up with the changes of life as everyone does. Okay, I only went up $5 per reading. So, I mean, oh, well, $5, yeah. It's not a big deal. To me, it's not. I mean, it's 5 bucks. okay? So there is a slight increase, $5. Is it $5? I think it, let me double check because don't get me to tell in a fibble. A fibble for shizzle, my nizzle, rizzle. <laughs> uh, let me double check that. But it's not much though, regardless is what I'm saying. So I made it still, you know, reasonable. Um, What else? Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, yeah. Oh no, it's a little, so for some, depending on, you know, it is, I did go up. Oh, yeah. It's only like $5 more. It's not a big deal, y'all. Yeah, it's $5, okay? Anyway, let's get right into where some toxicity going on. I don't know. Somebody's got... Oh, damn. Somebody got in a... Oh, wait a minute. Gemini High Vibe. I know this ain't you. Oh, child, I know it ain't you. I know this ain't you. This is somebody in your energy who you possibly walked away from with that hermit energy, with the eight of cups energy and the priest shuffle. Child, somebody has got some drug addictions, alcohol addictions, pop, pill popping, a sex addiction as well. Yes, this is a sex addiction. When they get to drinking and popping pills, honey, any and everything goes, they get to having the same, honey, this person's confusing. They all over the place. They don't know what the fuck is up. Oh my God. And this drug addiction or alcohol addiction or sex addiction has somebody mentally entrapped. Literally, it's messing up their life. They're feeling like they can't make it through. They're feeling like the wounded warrior. They're feeling like their addictions and their habits of this whatever secret sex addiction. Okay, so yeah, this person comes off like they're one way, but they're literally actually another way. Okay, this is a Decepticon who's very toxic. Yeah, it could be a... Oh, okay, what's going on, Spirit? Oh, they're stressed out about it. So this could be your spouse for some of you, okay? This is currently your spouse. Your spouse is in the closet, okay? You kind of know about it, but you're really not trying to, you know, but I mean, they are. It is what it is, okay? Others of you, this is somebody from your past who you've broken from. You're free from them now. And this is all that they're going through. The reason that they, you know, you're not with them anymore is because of their sex addiction and or drug pill popping addiction, okay? What else, spirit? So what is the, over oh, yeah, whoever this energy is, their anxiety, they have Sleep is, sleep. ooh, damn, okay. I knew something was getting ready. So there's somebody's trying to figure out, well, I figure they want to cut out, you know, their, these addictions. They really do. Yeah, they know it's fucking them up. They know they're, oh, yeah, they do. See, this person is somebody who knows that whatever they, this, this, this quick action. So when they get to drinking and popping pills or whatever, they get into this, this, this frisky energy, Okay. And they know that they need to cut this out in order to, to balance out their whole life, in order to move forward, pretty much. Yeah, what else, Spirit? We got these cards. What you want to say? What you want to say about the Seven of Cups, Devil Energy? 
Mm, somebody got leaked. Mm, all those fell too, Spirit? What? Okay, hold on, y'all. Ooh, cover somebody. Ooh, what is this? Okay, hold on. Grab that. And then, okay. Intuition. Ooh, okay. Okay. Mm. Spirit. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God. Okay, somebody stressed the fuck out about you about to get this, uh, get, a, get a new love. This is crazy. Somebody is not, they're so worried. Okay, they are trying to clean it up because they know that you're moving forward and you're leaving them behind. Okay, they're afraid that you're going to have this new love. You're going to have options, which you are. And this person is always repeating these cycles and never learning lessons is why they're stressed the fuck out. And it's why they're in this eight of um, swords energy. They're trying to play poker face, like whatever, like they don't give a fuck, but they really do. They're stressed the fuck out about their sex addiction because this person doesn't use intuition. They have reckless behavior, you guys see? Intuition in reverse and reckless. So this doubleistic energy is always repeating. So why, okay, I'm here and they always getting burnt, crunched and clapped, but they don't, they don't. Okay, hold on, y'all. Somebody got secrets, devil obsession, karmic is keeping me stuck. So whoever they fucking around with or whoever this karmic energy is, and I'm also kidding, the karmic is keeping me stuck. So they're with somebody who's keeping them stuck in this devil chain attachment because I don't know if they're sexually addict. I don't know if this person, their karmic feeds into their sex addictions. Yeah, she does or he does. Yeah, so now they have some legal issues or court issues or something that popped up. I want to figure what the court issue is because this is jail time. They got something. Okay, so I don't know what happened. Well, now they're facing some type of jail time. They got secrets. They try to cover them up. Um, they're trying to get out of foreclosure. They're trying to cover up a foreclosure or an eviction or something's going on. Okay, this person. Okay, you can have brown skin, high priestess. Just FYI, you know, the, the dark skinned and melanin filled people are <laughs> depending, you know. We the chosen, they the, no, I'm just, they chosen, okay? It's the melanin, carmen in the skin, okay? So that's why I said brown skin, high priestess, you could be the one. You're very intuitive or whatever you are. They're scared as well because you know all the secrets, Teresa, okay? They know that you, you don't say nothing. You don't say pretty much to nothing, but they're stuck and stagnated trying to look at things from a different perspective because they know you are a high priestess. They know you know all the hidden secrets that they tried to cover up. Period, Pooh. Spirit, why does my babies need to know any of this energy? Because somebody's coming back to you. They want to come back and transform. They want to bring something back from the dead. Yeah. They want to reinvest in you or invest in a relationship, a marriage with you. That's why these energies are coming back. So Spirit is telling you the type of character that this person is in before they even come back. So you don't get confused, but it's something that you already know. So don't second guess yourself. Yes, this person is flighty. Yes, this person is noncommittal. Yes, this person is a crazy lunatic, just mad and cussing people out. and just So they don't have any emotional, they're like really emotionally imbalanced. Mm, and yes, especially they're really quick with it with, when it comes to this sex. This sex has taken over their life and this caused them to have this reckless behavior where they don't have, they can't control their urges. Okay. Yeah. But yet they want to come back. So what is this court issue spirit? What's going on? Maybe because, you know, when you go through an eviction, that is a court issue. Okay. So somebody has to leave a home, whatever, because somebody stressed the fuck out. They're not working out anymore. I don't know. Somebody's trying to cover up a surgery. Maybe they need, you know, I don't know. What's going on, spirit? Ooh, Gemini, you popped up. Okay, you hit the floor. So this could be you, baby. Or somebody's hitting the floor because why? <laughs> I don't know. Let me get you off the floor, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the lovers right there. Damn. What's, why is the lovers on the table, spirit? Oh, equal. Oh, so somebody's either evil still giving to somebody else. Yeah, they are. Spirit said they are, but then they're going to come back like they want to give to you. Yeah, they've been exposed. They want to re revive something, but that shit's dead. The judgment is not going to go in this person's favor is why they're heavily burdened. So I guess who, if they, if, if whoever's facing a court issue, I don't know who you are. Okay, depending on, okay, Spirit's saying no. Okay, so whoever's getting ready to go through a legal issue or eviction or something like that. Yeah, it's a no, okay? The judgment will not go in your favor. It's going to cause a heavy burden for you, yes. So whatever, honey, I don't know if this is part of your karma or whatever. 
Yeah, because you didn't take no action. Because somebody didn't take action. Spirit, what did they not take action for? I'm just confused. The Spirit said, never be confused. Why is this person sad that they didn't take action? Spirit, who, who's action? What action? They, okay. Mm, somebody is, okay. So I'm getting karma, okay? Somebody's, I guess, Gemini, you walked away from somebody. Okay, an earth angel. Whoever you are, you're the earth angel, okay? So you don't have nothing to worry about. You're the high priestess. That, you're the Teresa that knows every damn thing. You're the one who, okay, so whoever left you out in the cold to go be with another lover, it could be a Gemini because Gemini's coming up here heavy, Gemini. Now, this is a lower vibrational Gemini. This is not my high vibe Gemini. High vibe Gemini and cross watcher. All the other, other zodiac signs that are in this higher vibration, you're operating in this temperance angel high priestess energy. So you're not going through anything. You're balanced out and you're actually being protected by the high archangels and God himself. Now, the other this other raggedy energy, whoever's stressed out, depressed and sad and heavily burdened, going through all these legal issues and everything. <laughs> um because they're greedy and smug and stuff, they're penny pinching, they're mad, judgment's not going in their favor. Oh, Lord. So, mm, it's the King of Swords who's closing out, whose things are ending for them. So, this is a masculine energy who is this raggedy. I mean, I keep saying, right, Spirit, why am I calling it raggedy? Spirit, why? Yes, they're sad and regret. The cycles have ended. This angels ain't letting them come towards you for anything. Your guards are up. Your defenses are up. You're like, hell no, you betrayed me once too many times. And so, now you get cut. So why are they raggedy? That's why they raggedy, okay? Because they betrayed you way too many times. Okay, this person. They went, yeah, they, 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 ooh, they held back from you because they, they held back their love for you for a baby mama or a mother figure or somebody. That's why they ghosted you. Yeah, because they thought that this person was their one. Exactly. And now they're looking at you like you're the one. You're the wish fulfillment. And they want to make an offer to you like a king of pentacles, but they a page of pentacles trying to make an offer of an ace of pentacles. Make it make sense, please. Does that make sense? An ace of pentacles is going to try to offer you the king of pentacles. Are they going to show up as the king of pentacles or try to act like they the king of pentacles, but be to give you an ace of pentacles, but they really the page of pentacles, but it's only to backstab and betray you. Yeah, are they going to backstab and betray you? Because this is a risk taker. This emperor Aries energy is, yeah. So if you work on this with this person with secrets and shit like that, you're still going to be single. They're going to leave you single with a baby possibly. Oh, Lord have mercy. Don't let them come in. Yes, they're thinking about coming in, sliding that slippery snake inside of you to balance things out and heal shit with you. That's the truth, y'all. Oh, no. And the communication that you're getting right now, which is my communication to you, is that you need to move to Karma Waters, Queen of Swords, and cut this shit out because shit's going to... Be, it look, it's going to be slowed by, down by God regardless. So you're, you, sh you should have learned a lesson. Yeah, you're not going to take it back because you know they're a cheater and they don't, and you already know if you get with this energy and take action for towards this energy, you're going to be at the three of wands energy, okay? You're going to be mad with your fist all balled up and shit because you had a four of, um, a four of swords and a five of pentacles energy all crying in your emotions because somebody back from your past who you believe backstabbed and betrayed you and lied again. Okay, yeah. Oh my God. So, Spirit, what? Um, tell us more. Yeah, you put an ending to the conflict and competition. So, somebody did try to put you in a competition because they wanted to be seen. They were arrogant. Look at me. Choose me. I'm the one. But here they come. They want to come and reconcile with you after walking away from you to go be with a toxic devil ass baby mama. Okay, Spirit, say, yeah, they did. Who, who only got them in legal issues and shit like that? Spirit, what is this legal issues? Because somebody got locked up behind this relationship. So I don't know. Somebody took some action, honey. Yes, they did. And the karmic kept them stuck. So now they have a legal issue against this. The police is involved. Child, what is going on? What is the king of wands taking action to? What did he take action to? Why is the, court, uh, why is the jail card here? Why is the jail card here? Honey, somebody's under investigation. Ooh, wait a minute. The jail card is here because, um, oh, wait a minute. There's somebody, for some of y'all, not everybody, somebody stole from work. 
So I don't know what the hell, how, well, I don't know. Somebody stole from work and the boss is looking at them or the boss hired an investigator or somebody in high authority figure, whatever financial institution, this boss figure caught somebody stealing from work. So I don't know if this your person that stole from work and they was under investigation because their boss had figured out or I don't know, Spirit, what, what's going on? It caused the tower. Okay, so somebody got caught, steal, caught for stealing at work. Look, they did. Now look, now they they should have never they should have never stole from work. They did it with somebody. Look, and then that's what got them stuck. Now, so they, I don't know, I don't know, spirit. Yep, and here they come towards you, and you like hell no, let's not. Uh uh, yeah, spirit. Why is this person coming? How did they get caught up? What's going on? What do they steal? What's going on? Why is like I need to under. For a family situation, maybe, oh, I'm hearing they possibly were in poverty or they weren't getting, an, I don't know, they stole from work to provide for a family, for a child. Yep, family, child, and they got defeated, petty, Betty, maybe the baby mama, her, I don't know, something, something went wrong and it didn't go well, so now these people possibly still have to move or it didn't work out or something. Why does Jim and I need to know any of this? Because they are going through a tower. They're trying to decide their options. They're trying to figure out, okay? And they think they're going to come in and use some type of sex with this reckless behavior. Why is it reckless? What's going on with it? What's the reckless behavior spirit and the devil and all of that? This wand, honey? Mm-mm. What's going on? Ooh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Whatever actions that they took during this pill-popping sexcapade, it got them heartbroken and emotionally imbalanced now. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Well, I mean, I don't know what to tell them. This reckless behavior. What, spirit? Because somebody didn't use their intuition. So now they're stuck. Well, why are they stuck? So I don't know. For some of y'all, it's going to be they, they got, I don't know. They got caught up at work. They were, were under investigation at work and somebody ended up going to jail. So some of them are in jail for stealing from work, okay? Some of them, I don't know about this baby mama that they left you for. She's the cause of them. Some of them going to jail or whatever the case may be. I'm hearing a setup, okay? So she set them up in some form, way, or fashion. And that's why we got judgment. Didn't go, It didn't go right wherever they thought. It caused the heavy burdens, okay? So what else, Spirit? And anything else, because I am like, what? Yeah, they, they, they went to go work on something with a family, okay? They thought it was, okay, so this is someone whose spirit already been done told. Been done told to leave alone, okay? But they keep repeating that cycle, never learning lessons, okay? This person, whoever this Queen of Cups was, always kept them in a third-party situation, always kept them in competition, even though they had kids or children by this person. So I don't know, this could be you, but you was told, okay, to leave this motherfucker alone and you didn't. And now you're going through a hell of a towers and karmic cycles and whoever you got with that was told to leave them alone. They done, got, they done gave your ass something. Child, you depressed and everything. Can't sleep at night and all of that stuff with this night of wine. Oh yeah, somebody done burnt, got somebody burnt. Okay, and then they have nobody else to blame but themselves. They try to look at you too. So, so Gemini, my high vibe, you're not the one who's burnt, okay? It's the person that's on your mind who left you to go be in another situation. they the ones who got burnt. And the person that they were told to leave in the dust, that's the one who burnt them. Okay, the one that they had kids by, but, but they felt that they had children by and a family with them. They was going to try to work because whoever this king of, or queen of cups is was like, oh, no, I don't want to let you go. Please give me one more chance. We can work it out. It's going to be an equal give and, and take. I'll stop cheating. But lo and behold, she was cheating. She was cheating the whole damn time. Child, now, I don't know who is who is what is what, but there's two menses up here, possibly three with this queen of cups energy. So then that goes in, who in the hell is the baby daddy possibly for some of them? Not all of them, okay? And this person's feeling backstabbed and betrayed because of whoever they chose over you. And they were told not to choose them, but they still chose anyway. So this is part of their karma. So, oh, well, okay? Backstab and betray. So, yeah, spirit, anything else you want to get from this debt? Mm. Here for, yeah, this Queen of Cups was here for a good time, not a long time. You know, I, I, oh, yeah. 
So she ended up walking away. She fired this. She fired your person like your person fired you and walked away to the other lover. That's how they got dead. Yeah, that's how they got dead. So now they're sad and embarrassed and stressed the fuck out and everything. They can't believe. Child, what's going on? And some of them are stressed out that the King of Wands is going to come and work on some shit with you. And you're going to receive wish fulfillment and the Ten of Cups for that in an equal give and take. They don't want the Sagittarius energy King of Wands to come towards you either. Look, because they know it's going to be happy. A happy motherfucking relationship. And then this... Whoever this, whoever, they, they feel in backstabbed and betrayed because they feel that you were supposed to help them grow too. So I don't know who that is. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, and they are so, so honest, honestly, the reason they left you though, for real, is because they had a baby and or a son or a daughter on you and they want you to forgive them. Okay? And, and lo and behold, because they are, they've been had you in a third party. They just thought you didn't know about it, but you knew the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So now they're in balance about how I'm going to come together with my Gemini. But Gemini knows too much. So they want to know how much of how much do you know, no, no. Okay. So I don't know. What's their, what's their options towards, what's their actions towards my babies? What's their action moving towards Gemini? What's in their heart space, mind space? Yeah, they're trying to decide on, they're trying to gather something together or some courage. They know they want to move forward. They know they want to come traveling to you. Now they're at the crossroads. Why are they at the crossroads? Because they could be facing poverty and they're afraid to come towards you. Yeah, because they look at this baby trying to offer you some shit because they don't have a baby or a son or a daughter by you, a water sign, son or baby or daughter, a family situation. They had another family. Yeah, so that they invested in this queen of wands and now they're feeling defeated for investing in this queen of wands and even think that, that, thinking that they were their two of cups and holding back from, from their empress right here. With lies, they only self-sabotaged themselves when they married and forgave and got into this community, this commitment, which only backstabbed and betrayed themselves. So now they got to gather their fucking face and sweep it up in the dustpan and fucking mold it back together to offer you a page of pentacles. Yeah. And the secret is, yeah. Okay, so what's the secret spirit? They feeling foolish, this person, whoever this is. But they are going to take, take a leap of faith and offer you a ace of pentacles, so to speak. Yeah, they want to get things taken taken off the ground quickly and they want you to forgive them, but you're blocking them because you see them and you're like, hell no, and they mad about it. It's just a, a tug of war back and forth, okay? You don't want them, they want you. But they're in this energy though too, so they're extremely toxic and they blame you actually for whatever they're going through. They're blaming you for their downfalls. They're blaming you for their drinking. They're blaming you for their your, their sex addiction, they're blaming you for damn everything, okay? So what's the outcome of this person for them not accepting the responsibility for blaming everybody in Gemini and High Vibe for their fucked up life? What's the, what's the, what's that? Oh, damn. They ain't gonna have no money, child. If they keep, yeah. They, what else, what's, what is the karma, y'all? Yeah? What is the spirit? Oh, well, their karma, okay, they're going to keep apologizing or they want to give you an apology, but it's just always, it's this. You already know this is not, you can't get this with them. You're already here at the Nine of Pentacles. You're shining, glowing, balanced, beautiful, hardworking, and this this is what this person wants. Look, they see you here and they want to give you this, but I don't really don't feel that they even have this because... This showed up at the reverse. So, and you're already here. So this means that they just want to feed off of your nine of pentacles because they're literally at the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Like, no. Mm, and you already see it. You already sees it. You already know it, Teresa. You know it. That if you move forward, yeah, this person is weird. Okay. You already know you're going to feel like a fool if you take a leap of faith because this person's going to leave you out in poverty or they have a poverty energy attached to them. They're going to show up as the emperor. Like I take charge. I'm a king of pentacles. You know, I handle my business. Some of them are my, I don't know. I don't know. They're going to try to trick you like for a new beginning. But spirits, like don't do it. Reconsider. Go within. Please think twice before you take this move and forward. Because there's some secrets. This motherfucker still got some detachments. And you're going to feel backstabbed and betrayed by not holding yourself back from this person. Because they are still lying about, they're lying about some shit. Okay. They're not being honest. They're not being truthful about wanting to work on something with you. 
Yeah, because they still have the other woman in the background, okay? They really knew that they're not trying to let go. So this person is greedy. Anybody in the devil energy with all this reckless behavior, sex addiction, popping pills and drinking and shit, you should never trust anybody like that. They already have a history and a habit and a reputation and a repetitious um, uh, action on showing you that they don't give a fuck, period, okay? So, Gemini, I'm going to end your reading because this energy is draining me. And I'm like, mm -mm, I don't like any of this. So, just stay away from this energy. Um, they're such a loser. It's a low vibrational losing energy that makes you... This person probably sleeps all day long. They don't have no motivation. They don't have no fucking tenacity. They don't have nothing at the end of the day. They're depressed. They hold on to shit. They grudge holder, they stress out, they walk in. Like, this is not a good energy that you need to be around. I guarantee spending two minutes with in this person's energy, you're automatically going to get anxiety too for no reason. So that's another red flag. If anybody gives you that type of energy or anxiety, you ain't supposed to be with them either, okay? I don't care who the fuck they are. They ain't supposed to be, you're not supposed to be living a life of anxiety, okay? So if you're starting to get anxiety, remember I say your, your feelings are a gift from God to show you what you're manifesting and what you're attracting and if you like mm -mm, no don't be attracting this shit because that's going to bring these towers and this is why for some of you feel like stressed out and anxious because whoever's in your energy they're going through towers right now and they're projecting that energy towards you to make you feel some kind of way but just keep popping that shit right back and returning to cinder 100 million trillion trillion times full in love in love in love and light always you know and um, send it back as a lesson that they don't need to be sending those energies no damn where. Period. Okay? So, yeah. Gemini, I'm an injury reading right there. I love you so much. Have a great day. Bye.